Now Hello. today we will make chicken rice oh. and we are making it from uh, chicken legs which one is a half drumstick and a half thigh skin, skinless. Mm -hmm. Now so, did you used to make it with breast rather before? Or? Yeah I always used to make with breast oh. or we can oh. make with a whole chicken cut up whole chicken all the pieces. Mm -hmm. Today I had lots of I had a big package of legs and I just we make from the leg. Okay. That will be very good even juicier than the the breast, the right? Best. All right? So, okay, what I did is I sauteed one large onion, mm. medium to large, okay. and now I and this cooled off. Okay. Now I will put in one teaspoon of two teaspoon, okay, two teaspoons of paprika. Mm -hmm. And just a little pinch of hot paprika, yo. Okay. I should give this before. Okay, so this one just a little pinch for the taste. Yes. To have a little like that only, see? Okay. Okay. Now we stir this. So that was two teaspoon mm -hmm. of paprika, right? Yes. Okay. See? And we have here one half cut up tomato, nice large half, mm -hmm. and about a half cut up red pepper. You can put yellow pepper, green pepper, it doesn't matter. Okay. And then until it's still cool, everything, oh. then you put in the meat too. Oh, okay. And then you stir it, and then you can put the heat on, and just put it on on about four, about four. so it start to okay. warm up faster, and until it warms up, until we can just stir it up with the paprika and onion and everything. Nice, right, so you blend it together. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll pause for a second and we'll come back. Uh, we just have the meat already seared. You can sear. Yes, you sear, sear it. it. Yeah, we just seared it. And how long did that take about? How uh, long did we are? It took about a good five minutes. Five minutes, okay. You will see on it start to get nice sear and whitish. Mmm. Whitish when it's not that very red. Mm. It is red one side. Right. White, so you don't really have to too much at all, but generally. Okay. You can tell, see? Yes, yes, you can see, see it here, yeah. See this side, yeah. Mm -hmm, totally. Okay, now we will put two cups of water mm -hmm. for now. And maybe another two cups. Okay. And you have to be careful with water because it will come out from the meat too. So I guess maybe I just will go for, let me see, three cups one in it yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, four cups of water. So four cups, okay. See, so it's nice and and covered mm -hmm. a little bit above but some water will come out from the meat too I see. but then some will vaporize so anyways okay but and what we do is now we put it on high until it starts to boil mm -hmm. and then put it down on three and cover and simmer for an about an hour okay and then we will put one cup uh, rice two cup water so because i we have four cups water we will put two cups, two rice, cups of rice, rice. Sure. And now we will put mm. one half teaspoon of salt. Salt, yeah. But the thing is with rice, maybe we will put later on more, I don't know, because the rice will take some salt out of the water and the meat too. Maybe we could put one whole, but we don't want to put too much. No, too much salt, no. So rather we will put some, this is dash maybe after. Sure. We'll taste, if it's too, too saltless, then we will have to put just a little bit more to it. But if it's good enough, then just put the Mrs. Dash and some ground pepper. 
Okay. Okay, so Ravi will bring it to a boil mm -hmm. and then put down on three, three. and for about an hour just oh. simmer it nice and and slow. Yeah. And then we will put the rice. Okay, well then we'll come back okay, for that. Thanks. Okay, thank you. And when well, I just want to mention that uh, if you want to make stew, Where any kind of chicken stew, percolate. chicken mm -hmm. percolate or chicken stew or or uh, beef, or beef stew, stew maybe or even? even pork stew or whatever. Oh. You do a very same. You make it a very same way, except you don't put that much water, because okay. now we need water for the rice to cook in mm. into it. But uh, with a percolt, I would put maybe just two cup of water only, okay. just to cover the meat. Mm -hmm. And then when you cook it, then what more water juice come out from the meat? Okay. So then, if it's not enough, if it's too thick, then you can always put a little bit more more water, water. to it. But you have to wash it too, too much because it's too, too juicy. Less. Too juicy. But that's how you make a percolate and you just cook it as long as the meat will be nice and uh, soft. Okay. But on the chicken you will do it maybe one hour, one and a half hour. Okay. And uh, with the stew you have to do it for about two and a half hours. Maybe well, which three hours which, with, which with one's the that? Beef stew. Oh, the beef stew. The beef, yeah. The beef pork, stew that long? Really? Beef, yeah. Oh. And the two hours at least. Yeah. But you can at four car you can check the meat or even taste after two hours. If right. It's good soft enough then you can have to leave it. Yeah, and with pork, pork pork is about one and a half an hour. Oh okay. so yes. But you always check, you know, I see. it's good enough or not. But you do a very same way except Otherwise. less with, with, with less water. And when you make noodles to yeah, it, yeah. then you just boil it in salty water, mm -hmm. drain it and put in the colander and cover it so it will not dry out until you are eating. Okay. And when you warm it up, you can warm up in the microwave or put some water under the colander in a big pot and sure. the colander covered and just steam it up. Steam it back up. Okay, good. So then we can cover mm -hmm. the uh, the perco tech. Or even mm -hmm. the noodles, you can warm up in the pot but put just a little water under it and mm. it will blow. It mm -hmm. mixed and covered, covered, and the right, steam. Right. It will yes. make it nice and warm and soft and fresh. Yeah, that makes so sense because if you well, you're right because it makes sense if you froze it inside the, the the stew and then you stored it, it would just soak up all the well, yeah, all the juice. You don't, you don't yeah, end. You don't do that. You, store it because separately. if you cook it in, it will be just like a goulash almost. But uh, oh yeah, oh, you like soupy. to put separately the noodles and the meat and sauce mm -hmm. on the top of it or beside, beside it and it, yeah. together. You know, so right, right. Yeah, you can if you want, but that's mm -hmm. not that. But no, that's the way to do it. Really. Okay, and we do have the recipe then for the noodles, uh, yeah. the noodles. So this one we will bring to a boil and then we will put it down to three or two, depend how, mm -hmm. how the stove hot and we'll just simmer nice and low. Okay, because it looks like then... Too much. <coughs> well, no, because you're saying that this you do for about an hour. <coughs> so this then, one we will do for an hour. And then I'm guessing that you probably do it for another half hour with the rice and in it? And then we put the rice in and in about a half an hour rice mm. will be ready. With and then the, the chicken too, keeps chicken cooking. Keeps yeah. cooking for another Oh, that makes sense, yeah. yeah. Good. So that's what, but you can't have an hour from the time when you cover it and start to simmer, not from now. Yes. Until it boils up, just when it's ready to cook and you cover. I understand. So it's still... We'll still boil. not qualifying as, no. as part of the hour yet, I see. see. Because it's not even boiling yet. I well, we only have it on five well, now. Yeah. I put it in hot, but the there. stove stopped or something. Oh, I it. Goes after. oh now I hear it going. Ice starts. Okay. okay, that's good to qualify that that's then. We'll get some do. more information. Mm. Okay, then and back. You know, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Now we have uh, only the one, one teaspoon salt in it. Yeah. Or half. How much you put it in? Half, I guess. Yeah, oh. half teaspoon salt. And we just cook with this now. And then before we put in the rice, we will taste the lay. Because mm. by then it will be cooked. Mm -hmm. The meat and everything you can taste safely. And if it's too tasteless, we can put another half uh, salt because we will put the rice into it and it will take up the taste. Oh. And um, some Mrs. Dash then, so it will be nice and flavorful rice and the meat all together for okay. the next half an hour cooked together. Okay. We'll see that, okay? Good, Mama. Okay. okay, back in a bit then. And so the meat was cooking about until one and the one hour and ten minutes, mm -hmm. and about uh, five ten minutes before I put another quarter of uh, 
salt, so we have uh, three quarter of a salt. Did you put salt or Vitabrix? <clears throat> no, I put salt again uh, because I didn't want to mix up. I right. don't know the measurement. Right, right. So there is, I put another quarter of a salt, quarter teaspoon salt. Because you tasted it and it didn't Taste seem... Tasted it, it was nice and salty enough, little salt. But then I put the rice in and the rice will take up the flavor, so it will be very saltless then. Oh, right. So all together now is three quarter of a spoonful. I put first one half and mm -hmm. a quarter, a quarter. Of salt. So three quarter, and yeah. I put a quarter teaspoon um, ground pepper mm -hmm. and a quarter teaspoon of um, um, Mrs. Dash table, okay. mixture. table mixture about five minutes ago, so it will cook nicely together into the juice. Nice, <coughs> see. Okay, so the meat was cooking until about an hour and ten minutes. I tasted this arm um, is nice and soft almost. Mm -hmm. So now we can put the two cups of rice into it. Mm. Okay. Mm. What you do, you mix up a little and then just cook it. Mm -hmm. Cover and cook for about half, half an hour, hour yeah. and then in about 10 minutes you can stir up all together and another 10 minutes maybe again stir it up. I see. And that's it. So it will nice and slow. You have mm -hmm. to slow cook the rice mm -hmm. just like regular. So wow, then, then it really, <laughs> well, yeah, because it really shows you how much sauce the rice soaks yeah, up I then. I mean, it's like soup there. Yeah. And when it's going to be done, it's going to be like totally yeah. almost dry powdery stuff. Right. Yeah. Okay. And oh, how about the pork oats and stuff? You add the same, same kind of amount of pepper and stuff? And yeah, everything. That? You can add everything the same except water. Only you add two cups of water instead of four cups of water. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Because you add a cup extra water for the rice. Right, so you can add the pepper and the yeah. uh, dash. You can okay. add every single thing. Sounds good. Okay, we'll be back in a half hour much, then. You know, if you make half the meat, then every single then, half, whatever. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, Makes so sense. we will see about in 9, 7, 20, 9, 7, 30, about 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. We'll see half Excellent. an hour what will be. Perfecto. Okay, okay, bye for now. Thank you. Yeah, bye. Thank you. Okay, the rice is all finished, and this is how it looks like. Mm -hmm. Now, you said you wanted a little bit more uh, yeah. dry. Not some soggy. So, <laughs> yeah, it's nice this way if you like, but uh, yeah, if you want more dry and then you, you wish to do it that way, the rice separate one, then just put instead of four, water, four cup water, three and a half, mm -hmm. because as I said, I need very yunky more water. Sure. And I knew, but I thought it will vaporize when I'm, yeah. cabin, when I'm mixing, but it really doesn't. It so try with three and a half cup water instead, mm -hmm. and two cup rice, and if it's too dry at the end, or before at the end, you can put just a little bit more water to it rather than you can take away. Yes. But it's nice. I think it'll be good. Yeah, it's gonna be it's good. good. Right? It's just not too dry. Yes, perfect, Mama. Okay, okay. perfect. Let's get some good recipes there. Yeah. Okay, bye for now. Yeah. Okay, bye bye. bye. <coughs>